Hi, namaste. Welcome to my channel, Yoga with Laura B. This is one of my Zoom sessions. And there are times that I do pause and watch the screen of my fellow yogi that's practicing with me. So please let my voice guide you. And if you feel that you may need a prop, a block or a strap to assist you during this practice, just have one close by. Let's begin. Alright, so let's cross your legs out, palms onto your thighs, sitting up tall. From here, take a full breath in and open the mouth, let the breath out. One more inhale. Now exhale, let's lower your chin to your chest and let's take a nice rotation to your right. Just stretching out into your neck. Full circular motion. And bring your chin back to your chest. And let's reverse this rotation over to your left. And bring it back down to center. Take an inhale now, let's lift your arms up. Exhale, open to the right. Now take your right fingertips, cupping behind your right hip line. Take your left hand outside of your right thigh. Let's push and look over your right shoulder towards the back of your mat. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, let's lift the arms. Let's just carry your arms over to your left. Take your left fingertips cupping behind your left hip line, right hand over your left knee and push and twist. One more full breath in. Please exhale, come back to center. Let's roll onto your knees and come to your tabletop. From here, let's take an inhale, curl your toes under, shift your shoulders over your hips. Take an inhale, extend your right leg to the back. Exhale, pull your knee down, hover the knee just beside your left knee, and take an inhale, float your right thigh up to the side along your hip line. Exhale, float the knee just off your mat. Take an inhale, extend it to the back. Exhale, pull it in, hover that knee. Inhale to the side. Stay here, let's lift your left arm and bend your left arm the same as your right knee. Float it up to the side. Exhale, bring it both down. Take an inhale, lift it up again. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift it up again. Exhale, bring it down. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, down, very nice. From there, let's bring your left hand and your knee to the floor. Let's take an inhale, extend your left leg back. Exhale, bring it down over to the side of your right knee and lift it up to the side of your hip line. Exhale, come down. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, float it to the side. Stay here and bend your right elbow the same way as your leg. Exhale, bring your elbow and knee to your center line. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, center. Inhale, lift it up. Two more, exhale, center. Inhale, lifting up. Last one, exhale, center. Inhale, lift it up. Very nice, exhale, bring your hand and knee to the floor. Inhale, let's float the right leg up again. Keep that right knee bent at 90 degrees. Exhale, extend the right leg to the side and plunge the foot down along the same line as your hip. Let's take your right hand up and open to your twist. Exhale, let's thread your right hand through all the way, let your shoulder rest onto your mat. The right side of your face is on your mat as well. Then your left hand, push that into the floor to lift that left shoulder up higher. So taking this twist, we pause for five, four, Three, two, one. From that, push into your left hand. Let's break that right arm straight up towards the ceiling again. Exhale, take your right hand down, pull your right knee in. 
Let's do the left side. Inhale, float that left thigh to parallel to your mat. Take an inhale, extend the left leg along the same line as your hip. Bring the left foot down. Ground the left foot to the mat. Take an inhale, left hand over. Exhale, let's twist and slide that left arm all the way under. Taking that right palm outside of your right mat. Turn that palm up and rest the left side of your face onto the floor. Right hand pushing into your mat and lift the right shoulder more. Taking a twist. For three. For two. For one, inhale, push into your right hand. Lift the left hand, open it up. Exhale, take your left hand down and bring your left knee in. Curl the toes under, let's lift up to your downward dog. Stay here in your downward dog. Now I'm going to switch mics here. Somehow this other mic I'm using is not working for me today. Now bend your right knee, press your left heel to the floor. So you're going to paddle out your feet. And do the same thing, other side. And paddle out a few times. Nice. From there, let's find stillness in your downward dog. From here, let's take an inhale, come forward to your plank. Exhale, knees to the floor, bend the elbows, chest and chin down. Slide forward, lift the heart center, take your cobra. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up, down the Take an inhale, lift the heels. Now soften the knees, look forward, snap or walk all the way to the top of your mat. Exhale, let's forward fold. Inhale, let's sweep the arms up. Reaching your hands up towards ceiling. Exhale, take your hands down by your hips. Let's do one more round. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, let's fold forward, downward dog. Inhale, lift up halfway. Flatten the back, draw that belly button upwards towards the ceiling. Exhale, fall. Let's bring the palms down onto your mat. Step or walk back to your downward dog. Now take an in, you'll lift the heels, come forward to your high plank. Bring your knees down to the floor, bend the elbows, bring the chest down between your thumbs. The chin comes forward. Slide yourself, lift the chest up, take your cobra. Exhale, crawl the toes under, downward dog. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knee, look forward, step and walk, or hop now to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms, come all the way. And exhale, bring your hands by your hips. Now let's add on to that. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, let's bring the palms down. Step, walk or jump back now. Come straight to your high plank. Now your option here, knees, chest, chin, half, or your full chaturanga. Slide forward, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, crawl the toes under, down dog. Now let's bring your feet together. Inhale, let's float the heels up and lift the right leg up, three leg it up. Come forward, pull the knee to your nose and step the right foot all the way to your fingertip line. If it doesn't reach, just wiggle or carry the foot forward. Now bring the back knee to the floor and flatten the foot. Let's lift the arms up. Exhale, now open the chest to the left side. Now reach your right hand forward, left hand back. See if you can roll that left shoulder back and look towards your back hand. Take an inhale, lift the arms back up. Exhale, now twist over to your right. Reach the right hand to the back of your mat. 
Keep the hips down, heavy, forward and downwards to the back. Nice, from there let's lower your left hand down inside of your right foot. Let's reach your right hand straight up. Now curl your toes under, float the back knee off. So now we come into a low lunge with a twist. Take a full breath in. Exhale, take your right hand down. Now we're going to sweep the front leg all the way up. Back to your three-legged low. Exhale, now come forward, right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, come forward, shoulders over your wrist, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Let's step the right foot between your hands. Same thing to your fingertip line. Lift the arms up to a full crescent lunge. Now turn the palms out, circle the arms back. And then bring your hands to your prayer position to your heart center. Let's lean forward, holding your torso over your right thigh. Now shift your weight and just let your toes linger on the floor. Full breath in. Now exhale, keep your chest down, lift the back foot, find the balance, see if your left knee can find your left forearm. Inhale, extend, let your toe touch down. Inhale, pull it back in. Exhale, extend the leg back down. Inhale, pull it back in. Exhale, step back. One more, inhale, touch. Exhale, step back. Now bring your ball of your feet back to your mat. Inhale, lift the arms. Now bend the elbows, take your hands open, holding opposite elbow to elbow. Now lift the heart center, let your forearm go down and back towards the mat. And just a gentle lean back, lifting the heart center. One more full breath in. Nice, All right, so let's take your hands down to your mat. Step your left foot forward, take a forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms all the way maybe lean back this time if you're going to lean back push the thigh and hip forward to lift the heart center exhale bring your hands down by your hips second set second side inhale lift the arms up exhale let's forward fold inhale half lift let's bring your palms ground on the mat step walk or jump straight to your plank Vinyasa here, knees, chest, chin, half, or your full chaturanga. Slide forward, take your cobra or your up dog. Exhale, curl the toes, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, lift the heels, left leg goes up, three leg dog. Exhale, come forward, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Let's step the left foot all the way. Fingertip line. Back knee down to the floor. Flatten the foot. Let's lift the arms up. Lift the arms, torso lengthening up. Hips down forward and down to the mat. As you exhale, let's take a twist to your right. Looking over to your back hand on your back feet. Back foot, sorry. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, twist your left. Inhale, lift that left arm up. Take your right hand down inside of your left foot. Stay here or curl your back foot and lift the back knee up. One more full breath in. Exhale, take your left hand down. Ground the palms, ready? We're gonna slide that left leg, bring it all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, come forward. Step your left foot between your hands again. And from there, let's lift the arms up, crescent lunge. Now turn the palms up, let's circle the arm back. Then from there, straighten the torso, hands to prayer. Full breath in. Exhale, lean forward. Now shift your weight forward and then let your toes linger on your mat so the back foot stays light. Stay here, full breath in. Exhale, pull that knee in, stay down, chest forward. Bring that right knee to touch your left fore right forearm. Inhale, extend. 
exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend, two more, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend, now bring the ball of the feet back onto the back foot. Lift the arms up. Let's take the hands to the back of your neck, open the elbows, push it to the back of your mat. Then lean your head against your hand and lift the heart center. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the torso. Bring your hands down to your mat. Step your right foot forward. Let's take a forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms. Maybe pushing the thigh hip forward, lean back. Exhale, hands by your hips. Stay here in your mountain pose. Take a full breath in. Let's open the mouth, let the breath out. <sighs> From that inhale, lift the arms. Maybe lean back, so this is an option for you. Exhale, let's take a forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Now exhale, palms flat. Step off or jump to your plank. From there, your vinyasa, your option, bring your knees, chest and chin down. Half chaturanga is where your knee to your shoulders become a nice diagonal plank position. Full chaturanga, your knees is off. So take the option of your choice. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, curl the toes. Now dog. Now full breath in. Exhale, bring your feet together. Now inhale, float the heels up, right leg comes up. Exhale again, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Big step, right foot between your fingertip line. Back knee to the floor again, flatten the foot. Let's shift the hips heavy to your mat, lift the arms. Now from there, you're going to keep the arms up, you're going to twist and open your chest to the left side. Then watch your front knee, make sure your front knee don't fall inwards, keep that knee stacked above that right heel. Now twisting over to the left, as you exhale, we're going to lean to the back, reaching both your hands towards the back of your back. One more full breath in, exhale. Now inhale, straighten, turn back to the front. Let's take a twist again to the right. Stay here or take your right hand and find your left hamstring or your left butt, whatever your right hand can land onto. Left hand up. Now open that right shoulder and look towards the back. Over your right shoulder for three, two, one. Axel, take your right hand back to your floor. Curl your back foot, lift that back knee and reach that right hand up. Exhale, take your right hand down. Let's float that right leg back up to your three-legged dog. Exhale, come forward. Big step again, right foot between your hands. Inhale, lift the arms. Turn the palms up, circle the arms backwards. Hands to prayer, lean the chest forward. Stay here, lighten your back foot. Now inhale, we lift and pull that knee in. And step it, touch it to the mat. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend. One more, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend. Let the toes come down. Now turn the left heel down. We turn to the left side of your mat. Open up, warrior two. Stretching your right hand forward, left hand back. Keep that right knee stacked above that right heel and bend it to the front leg. One more full breath in. Exhale. Now inhale, straighten your front leg. Lean back and rest your left hand to your left leg. Reach your right hand up. We take your reverse triangle pose. And from there, we straighten the torso. Now reaching yourself to the front of your back. Take your right hand down either to your shin. If you can take it further, your hand can come in front or outside of your right heel into your triangle pose. 
opening the chest, stacking that left shoulder right above your right shoulder for three, two, one. Now exhale, bring your left hand down, soften your front knee. Now we need to walk your right foot to the side of your mat. So having your little toe and your heel of your right foot to the side of your mat, we take your lizard pose. So the knee stays right above the heel, we sing the hips down, and we come up and lift the heart center. If this is too much, bring your back knee down, just work that left thigh and the hips down heavy. Keep that right knee, it wants to fall out, but keep that right knee hugging to the side of your shoulder. Stay here, you want to go a little bit deeper, you can bring the forearms down. Now, if you have blocks and you're somewhere hovering, you can always take your block and put it under and rest your forearms on your block. One more full breath in. Exhale. Now, if you're on your forearm, come back onto your hands. And let's all bring our back knee to the floor. Flatten the foot at the back. Let's Pull back and straighten your right leg. So now we bring the hips above your back knee. Right toes straight up towards the ceiling. Both hands inside of your right foot. And let's lengthen the torso and walk your hands. Just walk your hands forward to the front of your mat. Soften the chest down inside of your right foot. Pushing your butt to the back of your mat. One more full breath in. Exhale. Right, inhale now. Let's walk your hands back in. Now bring your hands about the same line as your shin. Bring that left palm to the floor. Take an inhale, reach your right hand up. So twisting to your right. Now as you exhale, you're going to slide your right hand under your left armpit. Push your right palm to the left side and dip your right shoulder to the left. Nice. Inhale, let's twist again. Reach your right hand up. Axle, thread your right hand under. Push your right palm and reach it to the left side. Bring that left shoulder down closer to the mat. Very nice. Inhale, lift the right hand up. Exhale, take your right hand down. Now, plant your left, sorry, plant your right foot down. Same thing, keep it aligning to the side of your mat. Curl your back foot, lift the back knee off. Now step the left foot and align it to the left side of your mat. Knees are hip width, sorry, knees are the same as your mat width apart. Let's bring your torso inside. So we're going to hang out in between your thighs. See if you can bring your chest, your torso down in between your thighs and squeeze your knees into the side of your ribs. Stay here, hands on the floor for support. Engage your core, flatten the back. And maybe if you want to fly your arms out like aeroplane wings, stay here for five. Maybe lift all ten toes off the mat. Four, three, two. Very nice. Reach your hands forward. Ah, oh, let's stand all the way up. Exhale. Take your hands down. Walk your feet in. Hip width apart. Standing in your mountain pose. Full breath in. Exhale, maybe open the mouth, side breath up. <sighs> Let's do the second side. Inhale, lift. Your option to lean back as you push a bit forward. Exhale, let's fall it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, ground the pump. You can step, walk, or jump here to your high plank. Vinyasa here, your option. If vinyasa gets too much, can always choose to skip the vinyasa and go straight to your down dog. Let's take a breath in. Exhale, bring your feet together. Inhale, float the heels off. Let's lift the left leg up. Exhale, come forward, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, big step, left foot between your hands. Bring the back knee down, flatten the feet, lift the arms up. 
from that twist. So turn the torso, opening up to your right. Check your right knee, it stays vertically above your heel. And from that, lean to the back. So reaching both hands to the back of your mat. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, straighten, turn back to the front. And then from there, let's twist to your left. Stay here, or now take your left hand, find the right leg, right hamstring, right butt, wherever you are, take your right hand up, and then lean yourself back. If your upper body leans back, your hip and your right thigh goes forward and down towards your mat. For three, two, one more full breath in. Exhale, take your right hand down inside of your left foot. Take your left hand up, let's lift the back knee up. Too much, you can keep that back knee to the floor. Inhale, exhale, take your left hand down. Now if your back knee's off, lift it off. And then let's slide the left leg up, three leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. One more, step the left foot forward. Inhale, press a bunch. Turn the palms up, circle it back. Hands to your heart center, lean forward like a resting warrior, over the torso, over your left thigh. Now shift the weight forward, just let your toes touch the mat. Take an inhale here, exhale, keep the chest down, pull that knee to your right forearm. Inhale, extend, touch, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in, very nice. Inhale, extend. Ground your right foot down, let's open up, warrior two. Reach your left hand to the front, right hand back. Check that left knee, right above your heel line. Sit low in your left leg for three, two, one. Now take an inhale, straighten that left leg. Take your right hand down and lift your left hand and lean back. Reverse triangle pose. Inhale, straighten. Now reach your left hand forward, hinging at your left hip. Reach, 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 reach. And maybe take your left hand to your shin. Maybe inside of the left heel or the outer part of your left heel. Triangle pose. One more full breath in. Exhale, take your right hand down. Now soften your front knee. Then let's walk your left foot, aligning that little toe and the heel to the side of your mat. Lift the back heel up. Now sink the hips down. Hug the left knee to your left shoulder. Lift the heart center and stay here. Your option here, if you want to take it further, bring your forearms down. If it's too much, bring that back knee down. And even with your back knee on your mat, you can still take your forearms down. One more full breath in. Exhale. Now take an inhale, come back to your hands. If your back knee is off, bring the back knee down. Now flatten the feet at the back. Let's pull back. Half under Manasana. Now pull that left hip back and then stick your butt towards the back of your mat. Left toes peeling up, pointing straight towards the ceiling. Hands to the inside of your left foot. Let's take a walk forward. Reaching, walking to the front of your mat, lengthen the torso to the front and then soften down towards your mat. Keep peeling the left toes up towards the ceiling. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, walk your hands in. Take your right palm along your shin line, ground it to the floor. Then inhale, let's lift your left hand up. Exhale, let's take your left hand under your right arm. Push your left hand to the right, dip your left shoulder down and twist. Inhale, open up the chest again to your left. Exhale, slide it under. Push your right arm to your, sorry, push your left arm to the right. Inhale, open up again to your left. Exhale, take your left hand down. 
Let's shift your weight back forward, still aligning that little toe to the side of your mat. Shift your weight, step the right foot to the other side. Exhale, let's do one more wide leg chair pose. Bring your torso down, hang up between your legs, between your thighs. Stay here, float your hands up, push your palms up towards the ceiling. Knees stack above your heel, chest down for three, for two, for one. Take an inhale, reach your hands forward. Exhale, we stay, bring the chest down. Now we come up halfway, inhale, halfway. Exhale, sit back down, inhale, halfway. Exhale, two more, inhale, halfway. Exhale, our legs are not screaming at you right now. One more, inhale, halfway. Exhale, down, very nice. Inhale, stand all the way up. Whew. Exhale, bring your hands down. Feet back, hip width apart. Fall in your mountain pose, full breath in, maybe open the mouth, let the breath out. <sighs> Let's go on, inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lift up, halfway, exhale, take your palms down, option, step walk or jump, high plank, vinyasa here, if you want to skip it, just push back, pull back into your downward dog. If not, take your knees, chest, chin, or your chaturanga. Overall, up dog. Exhale, crawl the toes, down dog. Let's bring your feet together. Inhale, lift the heels. Right leg over. Exhale, come forward. Bring your knee to your nose. So, and shift the shoulders all your wrist rounding into your upper back. Now look to your left, take your right leg, slide it at your hip line, and plant that back heel on the floor. We take your fallen start, so reach that left hand up towards the ceiling. Then lift the hips up towards the ceiling as well. Now Axel, we're going to slowly sit all the way down to your mat. We're going to turn and face the back left side of your back. We you take your legs wide, so a wide leg straddle. And from there, hands right in front of your crotch, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Let's walk your hands towards the back left corner of your mat, folding into your wide leg straddle. Check your toes, make sure you lift and keep the toes pointing up towards the ceiling, working that rotation from your hips. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, let's walk your hands back. Now take your right hand up towards the ceiling. Bring it all the way, reach it to the front of your mat at your Right butt line, ground it. We're going to lift the hips back up to your fallen angel. Axel, bring your right left hand down. Pull the right knee in. And from there, lift the right leg up. Three leg up. Axel, come forward. Step the right foot between your hands. Now take a big step forward with your hands. Lift the left leg up. Axel, pull your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Now stay here, engage your core. We're gonna lighten your hands off the mat. And if you can fly your arms up like aeroplane wings, go ahead for your warrior three, for two, for one. Let's bring your hands down. Step your left foot with your right. Take a forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms. Last side to go. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, ground the palms. Step, walk or jump, plank. Vinyasa or pull back straight into the downward dog. You that knee. You need that little extra break here. Let's bring your feet together. 
Inhale, float the heels up. Left leg goes up. Exhale, pull your knee to your nose. Shift your shoulders, round into your upper back, shoulders over your wrists. Now look to the right. Turn your right heel down. Extend your left leg out at your hip line. From there, reach your right hand and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale very slowly. Sit onto your mat. Our legs are already widened. And maybe you want to take your legs out even wider. Then lift your arms up. Now from there, take a twist to your right foot. Take both hands down just inside your right leg. Sit that left hip down. That left hip might want to lift off the mat. So ground that sit bone down. And then take a walk to the inside of your right leg. Bring the left shoulder down, lift the right shoulder. One more inhale. Exhale. Right, inhale, walk your hands in. Now let's take a walk now along the inside of your left leg. Left shoulders lifting up, bring your right shoulder more towards your left foot. And from there, walk your hands down inside of your left leg. Nice. Take an inhale, lift, and walk your hands back. Now, open your palms up to the side. And let, let your palms face towards your back direction. Bend your elbows and just bring your palms to your lower back. Roll the shoulders back, pressing your elbows backwards. Take an inhale. Now, exhale, we're going to lean forward and hover off your mat. Take an inhale, lift the chest back up. Exhale, let's come back down without the support of your hands. Inhale, come back up. Two more. Exhale, lead the chest forward. Go as much towards the floor without touching. Inhale, come back up. Last one. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, good job. Exhale, extend your left hand back down behind your left butt line. Inhale, reach your right hand up. From there, let's come back to your fallen star. Lift the hips up. Take your right hand down, pull the left knee in, adjust your hands, lift the back leg up, three leg up. Exhale, come forward, big step, left foot between your hands. Now reach your hands forward, lift your right leg up. Squaring your hip and your shoulders to the floor. Stay here, maybe lighten your hands off. Or if you can fly your arms out again like aeroplane wings, warrior three, foot three, Two, one, take your hands down, right foot steps down. Let's take a forward fall. Inhale, lift the arms. Maybe push your thigh hip forward, lean back. Exhale, forward fall. Inhale, lift up halfway. And soften your knees. From there, bring your left shin to the floor, bring your right shin to the floor. Pull back, bring your chest to rest on your thighs, forehead to the floor, take the child's pose, and take your hands and let it rest to the side of your shins as well. From here, let's place your hands back, take your hands to the side of your knees, use that as a support to lift your chest up. Let's sit on either side of your hips. Let's bring the soles of your feet together. Little toes to touch. Peel your big toes apart from each other. Lifting the heart center, side body long. As you exhale, lean forward. Bend the elbows. And see if your elbows can lend to the inside of your shins. And from there, use the weight of, the, of your forearm and your elbows. And try to Press the knees down more to your back. Then you take it further, keep leaning forward. Mm -hmm. 
one more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, come back up. Closing your knees out. Let's take your feet. Same thing, let's align it back to the side of your mat. So little toes and heels to the side. Take your hands, fingertips pointing to the front, thumbs point inward to bring it behind your hip line, but let your fingertips touch the side of your mat as well. Now let's roll the shoulders back, half the heart center, lift up towards the ceiling. Stay here, let's come to your reverse tabletop, lift the hips, push your hips, torso up towards the ceiling. Keep the gaze up towards the ceiling, don't drop it all the way back, just keep the gaze towards the ceiling. Push the hips up higher for three, for two, for one, exhale, slowly come back down. Straighten both legs up to the front of your mat. Keep your toes pointed up. Inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, take your hands forward. Now if you're working with tight hamstring, feel free to go as wide as your mat. If you look, feel a little bit more stretchy, you can bring your feet closer or let them come together. And just lean yourself forward. Wherever your hands land, just place it there on your feet, on your shin, and then bring your torso down. And I want you to lift the chin away from, from your chest and lift the gaze forward, feeling your heart center reaching more towards your feet direction. Shoulders relax. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, let's take your arms back up. Exhale, bring your hands down to the side of the hips. Let's bend the knees, feet flat on your mat. Let's lie back. From now, let's lift your knees up to your chest. Extend your arms up along your shoulder high. Let's take a twist, both knees to your right. Stay here, opening that left shoulder and the left arm. Press it down to your mat. And stay as you are. Take your right hand outside of your left thigh or maybe outside of your left foot. And you can slowly straighten that left leg out all the way, or maybe just halfway. Knees are still bent. You're holding onto your foot, straighten it all the way. Inhale, release that right hand up. Bend your left knee in if you're straightening it. Let's lift the knees up. Bring it over to your left. Opening the shoulders towards the ceiling. Take your left hand outside of your left thigh. And just staying here or standing that right leg out. Maybe shifting your left hand to your left, to your right foot. That's too much, just keep your hands to your thighs, to the side of your knees, wherever it reaches. Nice, from there, bend the right knee, lift the knees back up. Let's take one of my favorite pose, happy baby pose. Now take your hands, first we're gonna do you're going to take your hands to the back of your thigh. Open your knees wide. Let the thighs come outside of your torso. Then take your hands and press the thighs down. Draw your shoulders back onto your mat. And from there, let's rotate into your ankles. And let's reverse it. And holding it there. 
Stay as you are, or now you can slide your hands up. Reach your hands to the outer edge of your feet, so the pinky toe side. Use your arm strength, draw that knee and the thighs closer to the mat outside from your torso. From here, let's rock the cell side to side. rest longer in your Shavasana, please feel free to do so. If not, let's start to wiggle your toes in your fingers. Just bring your feet together, lift your arms over your head. Have a deep breath in and stretch yourself up. Relax your arms over your head, lift your knees up. Let's uh, roll over to your right side. And let's slowly sit this over. You're facing back to your front comfortable seat. Join your palms together in a prayer position. And bring it to your heart center. Open the mouth, let the breath out. Oh. Bow your heads down to your fingertips, maybe sending out a few thank yous. And for all that you're grateful for, and thank yourself for your practice today. Namaste, everyone.